<laughs> Hello, this is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm, and I want to talk about one of, yes, TJ Donner's life's new video. You know, we all know it's TJ the Amazing Atheist. We put out a TJ's Dutch Life video. Yeah. And it was about. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Amazing Atheist. That's right. It's Amazing Atheist. Sorry. <laughs> Perfect. But he was discussing about how men cannot discuss feminism. And. He goes on to say about how these women, how fairness try to keep men out of the format form. And he's right. I believe that there's tons of women who feel that men don't understand the plight of women. Albeit, I believe that both men and women's plights might be a little bit different. They're kind of the same. Because the same could be said about, well, children. Think about it, folks. I didn't know that uh, children's rights started in the 13th century. Uh, women didn't start fighting, I guess, necessarily for their rights until, like, the 1700s. I guess all's fair and fair. All's fair or if you got a woman making her flag. Sorry, but if you're making the flag, damn it, you better be getting, I best be getting some rights around here. <laughs> yeah, chalk it up to Betsy Ross. <laughs> so, sure. Anyways, um. I believe men can discuss feminism. I think feminism has come too far and been around too long to disallow men from discussing it. And also, what's the harm in it? I mean, think about it. if we get men on our sides and then get them to realize, hey, treating women badly is not a good thing. And that we, that our rights in turn can protect you. Because think about it. We have a lot of these places that are supposed to be, oh yeah, Planned Parenthood, abortion centers getting closed down. As far as I know, I gotta make, gotta look it up. But I'm aware of the fact that they are doing that. And we women get so tired of being silenced and having people tell us that we're crazy and stupid and da da da, da whatever you can think of when it comes to women. Then, maybe we should let men in our secret girls club, considering we don't like it when they close us out of their boys club. It's just one of my things where I think, well, yeah, that is only fair. Yeah. After all those years, maybe that's what started the whole misogyny thing, is that we keep saying, no, and it's, the thing is, I think men have come a long way, too. They have had wrongs. I mean, to be fair, when did men get the right to vote? Women, I mean, yeah, it took us, us a really long time. Hell, uh, my race is just celebrating maybe its 40th anniversary on, well, 40th, 50th, yeah, 50th anniversary on being allowed to vote. Which I find impressive, because, yeah, I did not know it took black women such a long time. Took like I think black men were allowed to vote like in the yeah it wasn't like eighteen seventies something like that you know just when they were allowed to be free and even that was kind of an iffy situation because you had to also have work you had to own land and you had to have property and all that other extra stuff that allows you to have those said freedoms on top of it. However, I'm sure that was still very hard for black men to walk around and not, uh, you know, not still have someone on their side. Because to be fair, 
there were still black people who lived on the plantations that they grew up on. There was no reason to leave. I mean, I guess technicality is, well, yeah, I might be free, but I'm also free to make my own choices now, meaning, um, why should I have to leave? Really, it's like, if I have to leave, yeah, really, what the hell, folks? I should have to leave. Anyways. Hi, <sighs> Ivy. I thought I got a phone call. <laughs> Joy of wearing, uh, interesting pants. Anyways. Anyways, as I was saying about the voting situation, I took probably trying to think suffrage in this country altogether, because it's all over the place. It's just interesting that it took so long for ever, anyone to get the right to vote. Because uh, rich men were probably the only ones who were allowed to vote in this country for a very long time. And, yeah. And when, you're right, women have had to endure a lot. So, um, I don't know how many people can agree to children having the right to vote. I mean, I'm just glad we have child, we had child labor laws because I can't imagine children doing all the same exact work that a full-grown man would have to do. And that used to be a thing, is that you, the boys would work and all that stuff, and girls stayed at home, and they would go to finishing schools where, you know, you talk about so and then stuff, which back then made sense. Nowadays, when we live a little bit longer, where things are a lot better health-wise, why do we enforce the whole gender orientation, you know, not gender orientation, gender specific roles on people as much? And not just older people, younger people too. I mean, I think around where I live, they're thinking about making it where they're going to start teaching that in schools, which I'm thinking, why? Why are we going to do that? It's not going to teach boys to respect girls, because God knows you're going to have them doing all the work. I mean, I could say home ec is probably like the closest thing, and, well, yeah, home ec, home ec's reasonable, because they don't have to learn how to cook, they all learn how to sew, and stuff like that, which I think are just good things for people to learn anyways, is they're just helpful skills for life. It's just like you would learn CPR or anything else. However, I don't think we should enforce gender-specific roles on girls, or boys, for that matter, because it just doesn't make sense. But I understand that feminism doesn't exactly fit everybody, because, yes, you're right. The thing is, in my opinion, we've accepted feminism in our country. We have never, well, it took a long time for them to for us to start accepting it. But we've accepted it since God knows long, how long. No one has been against it for the last 20 years as I, I know. I mean, yeah, there have been some men who say, like, stupid, or it's folded, or... Which I go, well, they probably might be right. I hate to say this, but sometimes I think the men are right and the women are wrong. Uh, when it comes to feminism, depending on the situation, it's also because, uh, women don't exactly, uh, let men on, on the little joke. No, no offense, but, yeah, when you're not leading them in on it, that's a little unfair. And then we treat them badly, yeah, I don't like that. And I haven't been liking that. I mean, when I was a kid, yeah, I did the whole silly, bad kid, you know, Boys, girls rule and boys drool kind of thing. We all did that. And I think, and mostly in teasing each other, and also, we were kids. Duh. But I think feminism needs to either grow up and deal with the fact that uh, men are just as smart, can be just as smart as they can be. Okay. And 
men. It's gonna be very hard to accept because it is a pretty. It's probably a very hard thing to understand, anyways, because there's some things about feminism that I don't get. And I'm technically a feminist. I am not a radical feminist. I believe in liberal and cultural only because I think you need those two to exist anyway. Cultural, at least, you're trying to make an effort to change things in society. You're just trying to say, hey, women can don't have to stay at home and cook all the time. They can be involved in other things that men do as well. Um... And culture families probably don't only have to do those things. They could probably also be trying to help women realize, and men, that it's good. It's not meant to separate the sexes. It's meant to allow women to be in reasonable, fair jobs. And it's to allow men. Maybe that's okay to let the woman be a charge once in a while. I mean, hell, now you can blame the wife if she he does something wrong. Huh? And hold her accountable. On top of that, and, um, yeah, I don't mean that. That has a connotation. And then, on top of that, it's just nice to change up our existence on the whole thing. But, yeah. Part of it, I think, is I hear all about how women are challenging barriers and stuff as well, and I love it, but I get so depressed by it, too. I mean, I go, way to go, yeah, now we're allowed in places, the golf, wasn't like a golf club or something, I can't remember the name of the place, but it was a it was allowing women, they finally allowed, uh, these two women in Condoleezza Rice or something like that. I like her, but I frankly thought it was unnecessary for us to know that now they're accepting women into a golf club. Yeah, that's, that's not really feminism to me. That's not changing how women can look how we look at women when it comes to sports and stuff. The thing is, there's still women out there who find golf to be the most boring thing to ever talk about. So, no, it's... Just because you found two women who enjoy it, you still gotta remember, uh, the majority might still find it boring. Okay. It's just that it happened to those two, and it's just nice to finally see women doing something that most of the time, they don't do. But that's it. That's all it means. And I think sometimes I feel like feminism needs to step its game up just a bit. But that's my personal opinion, and... I'm not saying women have to stop spending their time at home and get a job. No, I think they should do what makes them happy, and likewise with men. You know, I get tired of hearing how women need to do stuff that makes them happy. And yes, I like knowing that people are changing it for me, too. But the thing is, after a while, it just sounds more of like it really has nothing to do with helping my age group one little thing. I appreciate it, but... This is something when I, I gotta worry about when I'm like 40 years old. And part of me feels like, hmm, why do I foresee 2030 is gonna suck anyways? I mean, they're not going, I, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna cut at the whole, uh, <sighs> sorry, <laughs> sing me. <sighs> I mean, I like that they're changing things, but I'm also kind of the attitude of, yeah, that's great, but what are you doing for me right now? I like to know that so we can fix problems for me at this age. You know, so I can actually enjoy that crud. When I'm older. But most of the stuff is meant for, like, 
women who are trying to go through their midlife crisis. And the thing is, I'm 22. Well, um, sorry. Rewind. I didn't say that. Yeah. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm too young right now to really care. I mean, I appreciate the help. I love feminism. I'm, like I said, I'm truly and honestly a feminist. But I do have questions about whether this is really meant to help me, or is it just feminism doing what it does best lately? <sighs> Which is just, uh, if I want this, then I get it. And I'm thinking, kind of have to, uh, get you. But, anyways, that's my standpoint, and this is Evelina Malik signing out. Uh, please enjoy your Saturday, and while you do so, check me out on my Tumblr, my Twitter, fanfiction, and WordPress blog. Hi, right, and have a good night!